Okay guys, I'm going to start trying to take these U-bolts, the one U-bolt off this side that's good. This side broke, one of the leaf spring U-bolts. There's a new one. We tried the other day to rattle gun them off, with the cobalt rattle gun. That didn't work. I soaked them in penetrating oil for a while. You can see a pile of rust came out and a bunch of stuff loosened up, but no luck getting the getting them out. I don't actually have a deep enough three-quarter drive socket either to go around. I mean the nuts on these are real high up on the the bolt. So I don't have a socket deep enough. So we got the wrench out, but I pulled on it for a while and I needed an extension and figured I was just gonna break that adapter. There's a three quarter to half adapter right there. I figured I'd just break that adapter, so I'm gonna try the sawzall technique like I showed in one of my other videos. That's my carbide tipped Diablo blade. Uh, Ace Hardware was closed, so I'm gonna. I went down to Rural King locally here, and they had one of these Milwaukee torch blades with carbide teeth. Now, I've used the torch blades before; they're pretty good on regular metal, just the bimetal blades. But we'll set up and see how good this carbide tooth one is. Okay, so I already cut the other side loose. The light's not as good on that side of the shop. So I'm going to film cutting this side loose. I'm going to try to cut the corner of this thing and see if that'll work. It's the best place to cut it. but That way you don't have to cut it in two places at the bottom. But we'll see if I can get it started. So that's kind of nice. Now this thing's under a good bit of tension, so when it goes, I imagine it's going to make a good pop. Getting close. Mm. 
Boom! <laughs> Popped real loud. Should have had earring protection for that thing. Like a shotgun. So you can see it cut. About a th two thirds of the way through that thing and it the rest of it broke. It just popped in half. It's like I said, I knew it was gonna do that. I knew I made sure to stay clear. And the nice thing about it when you do it like this is the, the end of this bolt is down in the hanger, so it can't, it can't fly at you, it can only fly apart. So you just gotta be prepared and stay back if you're gonna do something like this. I tried to rattle gun on these, they were not gonna come loose, so cutting them was the, my best option. And now the back one, once I start sliding on it, because it's the only spring holding this side, now I've already put the new U-bolts on the other side, got that side of the axle secured. This one, it'll loosen up because there's nothing holding the bottom now, so it'll, it'll free up and probably be a pain in the butt to cut. Okay, see if I can make this sucker split. Try not to cut into this spring sink positions the, the bolts. Not much left holding that sucker together.
we go, broke it off. That is the nice thing about real hard steel, it is brittle. It will shatter, basically. That's why this first one, when I cut it, it pops aloud. It made her, had a lot of tension in it. And when they fail, they release a lot of energy. Oops, sorry, I had the saws all blocking the, blocking the shot. Once you get so basically just had this like this, had that chisel punched down in that saw cut and hit it enough times for it to break. And then the bolt will drop out the bottom. Just like that. That one, pivot it, and then the whole mount will come off. And pop those two out. And you get this plate. Clean some of the rust and debris off. And then get ready to put the sandwich back together. So guys, hopefully I can finish this up before my Battery runs out. This is the bracket that's on the on the bottom of the U-bolts. Drop this long U-bolt out. Just spin it. It just fishes its way right out of there. Not a big problem. I'll try to work this one through the back. U bolts are pretty tight fit over the spring. And pop that one into place. Two washers, two nuts. bracket slide the bracket on get the back one started and then we'll get the front started too Tighten one of these U-bolts too much, it will drag this saddle here at the bottom around and you won't be able to get the front on. If you happen to break just one U-bolt and try to only do one, especially if it breaks while you're driving, you'll be in that situation where that one, it had already drug that saddle forward with just that one good bolt after it broke. I wouldn't have been able to put one on without being able to loosen that existing. These washers look like they have just a little bit of crown to them. Maybe they're supposed to be flat and that's just the way they were made. I'll put it where I'm trying to compress that crown. And then I'll run these down. Let's 
Oops, I did have to put the truck up on stands and it's still up on blocks here just to been long I'm getting free. Just to be able to get the rattle gun on the bottoms of these to try to get them unloosened up, which didn't really get me anywhere. Now they're hanging down too far. These are not tight. too tight. And I'm not rattling on these real hard. Just enough to snug things up. Save my fingers a little bit. Okay guys, got the bolts installed. Camera ran out of battery so I didn't capture the torquing. I ended up running them down by hand with just a, I don't even know where my regular half inch drive ratchet. Snugged them all that way pretty tight, then came back and hit them with this half inch torque wrench. It actually only goes up to 150 foot pounds. Got them up to all about a hundred, and they were just taking forever to snug down any further than that. So I hit them with the impact a little bit more, and then checked them. They're all right around 150 right now. I think the torque spec on them is actually 190. So this little wrench doesn't go any higher, so I might have to go rent me a a torque wrench from one of the local auto parts stores that goes higher or put the impact on it and rattle them all a little bit more to get me that extra 40 pounds. I might do that and just guess or I might go get a and then I'll probably go get a torque wrench. But that's that job pretty well done. Hope you enjoy. Tune in for more. There's always something to do.